information do we just need to share that I'm going to share here. So this is certainly a unique event for a very unique year. I mean, as Mr. Rubio said, wish we were actually face to face together here. One day we will get to do that. But this is so unusual, yet it's becoming usual and it's becoming normal. But the thought of how, how do we do what used to be called open house, which is now showcase, how do we do that virtually? Well, we feel like we've put together a program and a package that represents us, but it still feels different. So please you know, understand, please bear with us as we do this for the very first time. And I'm hoping it will be the last time that we do it virtually in this way for a showcase. Um, but what you're going to see this evening, and, and if you had a chance to already look at our website and maybe see some of our videos that we've posted, what you're going to see, you'll see videos, you'll see pictures, you'll see images of the past, of the present, and really what we hope to be the future. So you will see images of students very close together, hugging one another possibly, not adhering to social distancing. That's because many of these images took place before we actually went into our lockdown into the pandemic. So please understand that. Um, and I'll talk about safety here in just a moment. But you know, we want to represent the things we're doing now, but also the things that we have done that are spectacular that we plan to do again when we have the opportunity to have all of our students here and uh, have less restrictions. So we're really looking forward to that. So the, the number one priority here ha has been to stay safe. As, as we have all lived through this together, we are all putting that at the forefront of what we do, whether it's out at the store, whether it's you know in a public place or here at school. So I want you to know that we are continuing to work really, really hard uh, to make sure that our class sizes are all socially distanced. We don't put more students in than can be socially distanced. We do our daily temperature checks and our symptom checks. We have one-way hallways. We have uh, PPE all over the place and available to all of our students and all of our staff. And I wanna share with you, we have not had one single case of virus transmission linked to Serrano. And that is a testimony to you parents for encouraging your kids to be health conscious, safety conscious, for our staff to make sure that they are overseeing our kids and for the kids. So we have done a really, really good job. And I just want you to know that Serrano will continue to do all of this while we have these restrictions in place. But we are crossing our fingers and hoping that we're moving forward and we'll have fewer and fewer restrictions, maybe as the year ends, but certainly for next year, we're hoping. Now, one thing I do want, I'm gonna share my screen with you real quickly, and I am going to take you to our website. This is our website, and I'm not gonna direct you to something for the showcase. I'm gonna direct you to a survey that I'm, I'm asking you to do, and this is for current Serrano parents. So if you're a sixth grade parent and don't have a student here, this is not a survey for you, and it's not that I don't want you to participate, but you won't be able to participate because it's about communication. So it can be found in two ways. This is a pop-up that comes up when you go to our website. And can somebody give me a thumbs up to make sure you can see our website on the screen? Anybody? Thumbs up, thank you, Ms. Blake. Okay, so if you go there, you can either hit this little right arrow and you can see our parent communication survey here, or you can just come to showcase like we're going to in just a moment and you will see the parent communication survey right here at the top. And what that will do is that will take you to a Google form right here. And it's communication, it's communication preferences. So with that, and I'll come off of that screen for now, with that, what I'm asking for, I, I'm trying to find out what are the best ways to share information with you? What works best for you? So is it social media? Is it uh, email? Is it a phone call? And there are some questions that are there. 
shouldn't take more than three minutes to kind of go through that. And there's even a last question that you can give suggestions and, and other input if you'd like. But I'd really like you guys to take some time, if you could, over the next several days to go ahead and, and make a stop in there and go ahead and share with me what preferences you have for communication. And we'll try and tailor those as best we can to what meets the needs of everybody that's uh, associated with Serrano. So next up, we have our fundraiser that's currently going right now. And I want to encourage your participation in that. We're a little over halfway there. Hopefully, you've received all kinds of messages, maybe some of those that aren't your preference, maybe some of those that are, that, that are. but we have talked about the fundraiser in so many different ways. And I do want to just quickly say that we have shifted our fundraiser focus this year, and we've done something different for Serrano. And that is we've partnered with a, a Saddleback Valley parent, a former Serrano parent who now has his, his student at the high school, at El Toro High School. And he is helping us. And what we're doing is we're streamlining all of our costs and we're able to keep a lot more of the profits or the proceeds of the fundraiser right here. Rather than contracting with a company that takes up to 50%, we're talking about only 10 to 15% of ours going to overhead and costs. And that includes the prizes. And the prizes this year, selected by our students. Our very own students selected the prizes from iWatch or Apple Watches and I, iPods and uh, our AirPods and, and iPads and all sorts of other things. Um, PlayStation 5s, if we can get our hands on one, lots of cash. So anyway, enough plug for the fundraiser. If you haven't yet signed up, please do so. And it's we're not selling anything. We're just looking for donations. So I appreciate your help in that. That would be super. My last shameless plug is my background right behind me. I'll kind of move out of the way. Our yearbook is on sale. And our yearbook class and our yearbook advisor, they are biting their fingernails right now thinking they're going to lose money on the yearbook because they haven't had the normal response to pre-sales as they have before. And I want to encourage you, they are putting out a, a, a tremendous product and the actual cover is right behind me and it does have every student's name in it if you look closely enough at it and the the book is going to be filled with full color pages of of student activities and student uh, things that have been going on in this virtual world and i i know you might be thinking well there weren't many activities and my student wasn't on campus but one last plug for it and that is Think about what this yearbook's going to be like in 10 years for a student when we are long gone beyond this pandemic and we want to remember what it was like in the year 2020, 2021. And this will be a great keepsake for that, to be able to remember what it was like and how we persevered and how we made it through it. So if you could, that would be great. Visit our web store and you can take care of that. Now, for the best of the best, I am going to share my screen with you again, and I will take you back to our website. So here, when you go to our website, and I will put the link in the chat in just a moment when I come back to this screen, but if you are set to go out to the showcase, and I'll take some questions here when I'm all finished, but I want to just show you how you can navigate the showcase to make the experience as efficient as possible over the next hour. So it all starts here. So you can click there or you can click let the showcase begin. And you'll come to our showcase page. This video message here really incorporates what I've shared with you. It was kind of an advance so that you would be ready for everything necessary if you ran out of time. I do want to direct you first and foremost to this bubble here. We do have tech support available. Ms. Bean, uh, Ms. Blake, they are going to be available for you if you need tech support. And uh, you can go ahead and click right there, and they will be able to help you out if there's an issue with anything. These clouds here are recorded programs from all of our departments and our programs here. And we would definitely like to see 
um, you visit those another time. I put out lots of reminders and information asking you to see those before showcase. If you haven't had a chance to look at them, they're gonna be up and you can come back to them. I'd rather see you over the next hour take advantage of the time you have rather than looking at something recorded, come on in and you'll be able to visit with our staff. So if you just follow down the program schedule, you'll see the PTSA meeting and our meeting that we're currently in. In just a few moments, we're gonna move into this 6.30 to seven slot. And you'll see that these are our special programs, our seventh grade STEAM Village, our honors program, our eighth grade STEAM Village, our AVID elective, and our special education department. If you have a student involved in any of those programs, or you're interested in learning a little bit more about any of those programs, you're going to just go ahead and click on that icon, and it will take you to those teachers listed, and they will, some will have a presentation maybe for you or have some information to show you, and will be available for some questions and or answers. If you don't have any students in this in one of these programs, you can come down to this group of teachers. These are actually all of our teachers. And you'll see they are available from 6.30 to 7.30. They're available for the full hour. If you look, each teacher with an asterisk is available for the entire hour. If the teacher doesn't have an asterisk by their name, that means they're involved in one of these special programs for the first half hour, and they will be available individually from 7 to 7.30. Now with that, what kind of questions do you have? Do you have questions about the, the format of the evening? Do you have questions about Serrano? Um, you are more than welcome to begin exploring. We have about four minutes before our teachers will be live and, and active, and you're more than welcome to uh, take a little break right now or queue up in one of their Zoom waiting rooms, but I will stay here and answer questions if you have questions for me. Feel free to unmute yourself and just uh, shout out. Can I ask you a quick question? Yes. Um, if, if some of those programs that are over the next hour, is that something that we're already in at our elementary school or um, is that something that if we're just interested in joining that program? It's if you're interested in, in joining that program, I mean, some of those are standard ones like uh, the English department or the elective department will have all sorts of electives involved in there. You'll be able to see all of those and get a, a kind of a wide variety. And that's the pre-recorded portion that you're talking about. Like well, the STEAM program. So you're talking about the actual live meetings. I'm sorry, I think I misunderstood. Sorry. So the live meetings, yeah, if you're interested at all in them, I would drop into them, yes. Okay, uh, and what is the AVID something that was on there? Okay, great question. AVID stands for Advancement by Individual Determination. And it's a program that's designed to take students and get them mentally prepared for college. And what that means, not, not like get them academically prepared, but get them on the road to thinking about college getting prepared for taking more rigorous courses as they go through high school and giving them the support they need. AVID is typically not designed for the top, top student or the bottom, bottom student. It's designed for those students who are kind of in the middle, who need some extra support to take more rigorous courses, who need that extra opportunity to um, be organized and become better time managers. We do have tutoring sessions uh, on a regular basis where they can get extra help in their classes. So AVID is uh, definitely a great place to visit if you have more questions along those lines. Thank you. Sure. Ms. Mr. Yang, uh, yeah. are these sessions only for the parents or even the students can attend it? Students can join in as well, absolutely. Have your students join in and it's so great to see so many students kind of sitting there with you guys on the couch. So welcome the Snyder family. It's good to see you guys all hanging out there. So yeah, definitely have them drop in and, and uh, take a look. Um, my son is uh, has special education at his elementary school right now. So um, any of those teachers um, would be probably like his teacher for next year? Uh, depending on his program, we, we have a what we call a continuum of services. 
which offer from the, you know, from the most to the least, and okay. they will all be, they'll all be together. The, 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 um, the, with the IEP and all that kind of stuff. So. Yeah. So you can go in and you can talk with them, and they will be able to kind of direct you towards. Um, our, our basic classes, our collab classes, and if those don't mean anything to you, they'll be able to explain what those okay. are. Yeah. Okay, perfect, thank you. Sure. Other yeah. questions? Oh, there's gotta be some question like, who dresses up in the mascot uh, outfit, uh, or who gets to dress up in the mascot outfit? Caitlin, I see you nodding your head there. Yes, we have an ASB leadership class and our students really, really want to be the one that gets to dress up as Sammy or Seahawk. So if you join ASB, you could be the next Sammy. Mr. Young? Yes. So my daughter is coming from Santiago, so she will be in the Steam Village um she really likes art i was wondering will she still have the opportunity to take art as an elective yeah that that's a great question first and foremost santiago sixth graders have priority in our steam village that means they're guaranteed a spot in the steam village however they don't have to join the steam village if they choose not to so if your student wants to take a different elective instead of the STEAM elective, and we do ask for a two-year commitment for our STEAM program, and that's something that as a family, you guys can think about and talk about. We have a couple of months before we even get close to making a decision, but you can ask some of those questions uh, tonight. At this time, it's difficult to take two electives, but as an eighth grader, there may be an opportunity for a student to take a year-long art course, an advanced art course with our, with our art teacher and take STEAM as well. Okay. And also how does the, the STEAM math compare to like honors seventh grade math? Like when our son came through a few years ago, he was in the, um, the more, the, I forget what it was called, but it was the, the honors seven math, I think, so that he was taking algebra in eighth grade. Yes. Great, great question. Our, our STEAM Village offers uh, seventh grade honors math, eighth grade algebra within the STEAM Village. So you have a STEAM Village teacher who teaches the honors class or the algebra class. We also have uh, English honors in both seventh and eighth grade as well. So any honors class offered outside of STEAM is offered inside of STEAM. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Thanks. Um, I also wanted to know about the music um, my son wanted to get into music before, but I guess um, a sixth grader, I guess he couldn't or something. So I was, um, would he be able to still um, do the like online or, or even whatever we can do um, for him for, for, he wanted to think the violin one? Yeah. He wanted to play the violin. Yes, absolutely. We have a number of different music courses from vocal music to from singing to strings to band. And we have different levels, beginning and intermediate and advanced. So yes, he can absolutely sign up for whichever one fits his needs best. Perfect. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, those teachers are out there. Their links are live. They're ready to go. I'll take a couple more questions if we have any, and then I'll let you guys go explore. All righty. Well, I want to thank you all for coming. Thank you so much for spending time here at Serrano, spending time with our PTSA, spending time with me. And uh, go enjoy those teachers. If there's anything that, uh, that I can do or our staff can do, don't hesitate to reach out. Let us know. Send us an email. Go ahead and call the office. Actually, a huge shout out to our office manager, Ms. Nifson. She's actually here tonight on, on site here to answer the phone for anybody who gets lost or struggles and picks up the phone and dials Serrano, she's here. So 
feel free to give her a call and say hi. <laughs> dial zero when they call. Oh, she she just stepped in. She said dial zero when you when you call and make sure you ask for a large pepperoni because she's uh yeah, I think she's uber eating it too. <laughs> Thank you all for, for coming. I'm going to go duck into uh, some teacher meetings here. So I will see you out there exploring. Thank you again. Um, Mr. Young, one. Oh, never mind. I believe Mr. Rubio got it. I think the STEAM. Oh, um, if you are going to the STEAM 8, is that right, Ms. Bean? Yeah. STEAM 8. If you're going to the STEAM 8, I'm going to put the link in the chat. Um, the new one's going to be up on the website in just a second. But if you're not getting in, it's because we just don't have the right one there. So um, I'm going to put it in the chat right now. And let me just find it here. Hold on one second. I actually just put the website on, on as well. If you don't have the website, I just put the link there. I said I'd do it, and I never got around to it. So it's there. And uh, Ms. Brandley's putting up the Steam 8 link. It did not uh, transfer over. I'm going to click on that one. Yep, here we go. All right, let's try that one. Okay. See, okay, I think I see the Zoom link in there. Okay, good. So let me know if anybody can't find it. I'll I'll stay on here. But it should the right one should be on the website momentarily. Sorry, Ms. Brownlee, can you post that link again? Because it's not on the website yet and I want to get in there. All right, Ms. Brownlee, I made you co-host here. So you you rule the world. I'll keep this one open, no problem. Okay. And uh, yeah, Ms. Bean. Hey, 